and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit different. I'm not doing a makeup tutorial, I'm doing a hair tutorial. Some of you were asking me for quite some time now to do a hair tutorial and to show you how I prepare my hair. So I have two different kinds of hairstyle. I'm doing a wavy style. Uh, since three months, so I'm still a baby for this style. And the other style, it's just that I straighten my hair, like Asian hair. I really love to do that. We used to say like baguette in uh, in France, and this is really another style that I love to do and that I'm doing. Also, when I don't have the time to do all my way, because you will see on the tutorial that. For my hair, it takes time. Some of you also told me that I have uh, really good hair, they look good and everything. I think regarding the volume that I have, I'm pretty lucky with my hair, I won't lie to you. I have lots and lots and lots of hair. Every time I'm going to a hairdresser, uh, he spent more time drying my hair because I have so many hair. So I'm very lucky for that. Uh, but the thing that uh, I'm not lucky with, but it's fine, there is some solution for me, is that I have lots of white hair, uh, but I do coloration, to be completely transparent with you. So you never will see my white hairs, at least for the coming years, because I'm not ready at all. I think they are, they are grey now, but, uh, but I will keep doing my coloration. Because I'm not ready to have grey or white hair right now. At the age of 31 years old, this is not for me. But thank you, there is coloration and I'm doing that. So I have volume, I have hair, but I have white hair, so we, we can't have everything. Regarding the brand for hair products, there is one brand that I really love, which is called Daviness. It's from Italy. It's a clean brand in terms of formula. I really like this brand. Uh, you will see through the tutorial. For my shampoo, I use the samples from this brand that my hairdresser gave me. So it's the Replumping Shampoo. The smell is amazing, the formula are great, and it works great on my hair. So I like this brand. So if you want to see how I achieved my wavy hairstyle, just keep on watching. So my hair are totally wet. I will first apply my Revlon Equave Hydronutritive Detangling Conditioner. It's a conditioner that I really love. I don't need to rush it um, with water and I apply it everywhere and I untangle my hair with my big flat brush that I love. This is the only brush I'm using for my hair. And now I will dry my hair with my GHD Air Hair Dryer. This stuff is quite heavy uh, in terms of weight in the hand, but it's very powerful hair dryer, so very efficient to straighten your hair and to dry your hair. And I will split my hair into two sections because I have very thick hair to start to do a kind of small brushing. So I will basically straighten my hair with my hair dryer and my big flat brush. And I make sure the point of my hairs at the bottom are going inside and not outside. So this step is quite easy and fast before moving either to the waves or to straighten my hair, depending on the style I want. When it's all dry, I will split my hair again, but into three sections this time before uh, applying my JHD Curl Hairspray. So on each section. And with my JHD Gold Styler that I really love, I will start to curl my waves. So the first one is the one near my ears. So I make sure this curl is going away from my face. And the thing is that I switch of way for each curl that I'm doing. So the second one will go on the other way and I will repeat that all over my head with all my hairs. So one curl, one way, the second curl, the other way. This way I will make sure my curls are not too uniform 
and I have this more beachy natural style that I, I'm looking for. So for the second section, again, I apply the spray and I do the curl on each wave. So one curl going away from my face and the other one towards my face. And I repeat that all over. For the back of my face, I'm not very sure of me. It's always more complicated when you're alone and you're doing that by yourself. So I will always make sure at the end I take a mirror and I look on my back to see if everything looks fine. For the final section, I will just put my hair in place the way I always put them in place on an everyday basis. Again, I apply the spray and I start uh, from one side to do my curl. And again, I repeat that. And the second thing that I'm doing is that I'm not keeping my hairstyler too close to the root of my hairs. I make sure the curls that I'm creating are in the middle of each section. So not too close to your head. And I am not going uh, at the end, at the point of my hair, of my section, basically. The curl is only in the middle. I leave the end of my section free. This way, again, I will have this more natural, beachy wave that I'm looking for. And to finish my face, I always make sure the sections that I have close to my face, the curl are going away from my face and not towards to my face. And that's it. This is when I am done. I'm joking, I'm not done completely. I need now to style my hairs. So I will just put my fingers into my hairs. I don't want to destroy my curls, so I'm very careful with that. I try also to work the root of my hairs to make sure I have some volume and it's well uniform. And to hydrate my hair, I will use my Daviness oil oil with Roku oil. I love that oil because it's not too greasy at all. And to set everything, I'm using my L'Oreal El Net Satin spray. It was my grandmother spray. It's the best spray that I have ever tried to make sure everything is in place and not moving. And that's it. And my hair are done. So when my hair are done, I don't touch them in a way. Like I don't brush them. I brush them only with my fingers to don't uh, to don't destroy the waves and the curl basically but I yeah I try to to keep that in place during three days I don't do my waves every morning because I don't want to damage my hair too much I know that using your hair straighteners and hair dryer can damage your hair the thing which will help your hair to be shiny too is just uh, the temperature when you have a hot product you can create the style that you want and the hair will be more shiny. The other thing which helped my hair to be very shiny is the coloration that I'm doing. Few years back I was do I was blonde, not full blonde, but I was doing some blonde part on my hair, like a natural blonde with blonde hair. It's very drying because you pull out your natural own color. When you do a dark coloration when you have dark hair they apply some formula around your natural hairs so that help my hair to be more shiny uh, I think. So I really hope you enjoyed this hair tutorial it was the first for me to share that with you but I was very very happy to, to do that and I really hope it will be helpful. Don't hesitate to let me know the product you use for your hair. What are your secrets? I would love to know that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!